Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today's uh, aircraft is from JC Wings. It is 172nd scale. It is the EA 18G Growler. And um, this was an electronic warfare version of the US Navy's FA 18F Super Hornet. And it did replace the aging EA 6B Prowlers. So it did enter US Naval Service in 2009 and still remains on active duties with around 172 aircraft built to date. And um, the Royal Australian Air Force also operates around 12 of these aircraft, which entered service in 2017. And um, it is the only other operator of these aircraft besides the United States. So yeah, it has the typical JC wings layout. It's got the little card in there, the aircraft's in there. It's got the little blister packet on the flap here, and uh, which does have some of the ordnance. And behind the ordnance is some details of uh, the aircraft, I'm assuming, and m maybe the unit as well. I can't see past that. But what we'll do is we will uh, get this aircraft out of the box. And remember, with JC Wings, when you're opening it up, make sure I have this flap open a little bit, because if you do try and remove this with it closed, it gets caught on this, on this packet on the side here. All right, guys, let's open this guy up. So here it is out of the box and um, it does come a lot of the times like with JC Wings as you can see here it does come with a, a heavy stock plate in the um, base of that uh, box which this one does have a, a bit of a runway on it which is you know that's something a little bit novel if you want to display your aircraft on this base but uh, we'll get to the actual packet itself as you can see it's brand new this this uh, cost me around 140 dollars and you can see the landing gear in there. It's got all the uh, oh, gear doors. So there's a lot of gear doors. So this will be fun when we do the landing gear. And it's typical collecting card that it does come with. It's a limited run of 600. And what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll get this out of the packet into the hand. So we'll just pick this up out and get it in our grubby little hands. And as you can see, the actual um, panel lines, very nice. You can see some really good details on there. And as you can see, this particular aircraft is from the VAQ-141 Shadowhawks. And uh, this, was a, this is a dedicated electronic warfare squadron that um, was established in 1987, initially with EA-6 Prowlers, which uh, this aircraft does replace. And um, the unit has um, seen many carrier-based operations, actually. So they've been in operations uh, in the Gulf, the Balkans, as well as Iraq and Afghanistan. And it's currently the um, U.S. Navy's only permanent forward deployed electronic warfare squadron. And it is the largest one. And it's residing in bases in Japan currently. So, But I think... Uh, the, the beautiful details on that tail, and you can see the sort of the rising sun, so I think it's very, very nice. The, the coloration, beautiful. Details on it are fantastic. We'll um, see if we can get that cockpit open. Try and get you inside there. Um, it's pretty hard to sort of focus on some of those details in there, but overall, I think this is really nice. Um, the, the actual... If you can see here, the rudders do do manipulate around, as well as, as all these parts move as well, uh, which is pretty cool. We'll have a look uh, underneath, see what it does. It's got some missiles already affixed on there. It does have an arrest hook that's in a fixed position, can't move that. And as you can see, that's where the ordnance will go. And that's where we'll have fun putting some landing gear in. And the, the details in the front, you can see all the aerials and everything like that, really well detailed. And um, I think f for this build and this aircraft, I, I think it's a really nice version of it. It looks pretty cool. I like the colours as well. It does come up nice. And uh, I think it's a very beautiful aircraft, very, very beautiful rendition of the EA-18 Growler. And uh, what we should do is we should affix some landing gear on and uh, the ordnance and make this a little bit more whole for you guys to see. Okay, here we have it all kitted out. Now, it does come with a set of instructions, pretty detailed and everything like that. Um, but if you want to display it uh, wheels up and in flight, it's only these three little pieces. <laughs> but if you want to do it wheels down like I always seem to do, uh, because I don't know, I, I enjoy inflicting myself with pain, um, you've got a, it's got three individual gear bay doors on each landing gear so it's not a module you've got to slip each one and each one of these also has a strut that has to go on as well so same here there's three individual bay doors that go on and um, then you just drop that landing gear in they do seem to roll 
but I wouldn't want to roll this around because if it does collapse, you, you've got to reassemble it all again. And um, as per usual, the uh, JC wings do not come with a stand, which has to be purchased separately. As I said, I, I always display mine wheels down and just sitting on the ground, so that doesn't bother me. But as you can see, it, it kits out really nice. I think it's uh, it, it presents really well. Like I think this looks really nice. And as I say, I, I think I paid around one hundred and forty dollars for this. So, so I suppose uh, what we'll do is we'll risk uh, flipping her over and hope that uh, nothing drops off. It was a little bit fiddly for my sausage fingers to put on. And there we have it. But um, that's it. That's all kitted out. I think this is. It does come with two pilot figures as well, and um, that collector card, as I sh uh, showed you earlier. And it is a limited run of 600, so if you can get your hands on one of these, go for it. I reckon it's a pretty cool aircraft. It's um, It looks really nice. It, the, the build, as I said, the build seems really, really decent. Um, I don't have an issue with it, but I mean, uh, there might be a fussy uh, collectors out there than myself. Um, I'm not overly fussy. I, if it looks tidy, I like it. So <laughs> it's, I think it looks pretty cool. So we'll put it down on the deck and hopefully nothing drops off. So once again, this is by JC Wings. It is 172nd scale. It is the EA-18G Growler, um, based in uh, Japan, and it's um, in the unit, the VAQ-141 Shadowhawks. And um, I, I think it's a very tidy unit, and if you can get your little hands on one, and as I said, they are limited run. It does come with that collector's card, so if you can get your hands on one of these, it will be a pretty cool addition to your collection. And um, all right, guys, I will uh, leave it at that and uh, stay tuned for some photos of this uh, machine. I will chuck that up at the conclusion of this video, which is coming up right now. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys. In a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset That one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine If I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me I exist to remember your story I'll make a decision If I want some peace Or if I want the glory Yeah, Don't want a life That is complacent Or possibly boring I just want a life That is worth every day exploring I my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah.